you do not already have an eBay account, or if you want to set up a secondary account, you can set it up using the eBay sign-up link at our website, portal.don'tbidonit.com. People who buy and sell on eBay often have separate accounts for their buying and their selling. Having two accounts gives sellers a number of advantages which are outlined in the Don't Bid On It book. I'm going to go ahead and click on the eBay sign up link to go directly to the eBay sign up page. The first thing you should notice is that this took me to a page that begins with HTTPS. The S is very important. This means you're on a secure or SSL encrypted site. Anytime you're asked for personal information, your login information, or financial information, you should be on a website that starts with HTTPS. You should never enter your personal, financial, or login information into the eBay website if you do not see the HTTPS at the beginning of the URL. I can see that I do have the HTTPS at the start of my URL. This is the eBay registration page. In order to use eBay, you need an eBay account. Here is where we will create that account. It asks for basic information such as your first name, last name, street address, city, and some contact information. It also asks for your user ID. Your user ID is how other members on eBay will recognize you. This eBay ID can contain your first name, but it should not contain your full name. It also should not contain your email address or any type of domain name. It's best to pick a generic name. You do not want to be too creative here. This can cause problems later when buying or selling as explained in the Don't Bid On It book. You are also asked to pick a secret question. This is important so that eBay can identify the actual account owner later. If you should forget your password or someone else should gain access to your account, you can use this secret question to reset the password which will allow you to regain access to your account. You are also asked for your birth date. Miners are not allowed to buy and sell on eBay, so it is important to enter the correct date. The last section of the sign up page includes terms of use and privacy. You have to click the checkbox to agree to these terms. You should not click the checkbox just to continue. These are important agreements. You should click on the user agreement and on the privacy policy and read these agreements carefully. When you create an account, you are agreeing to accept these terms. You should be aware of them. I can give you a quick summary of the user agreement. Basically it says you will deal in a fair and honest way with others. You will not sell items that are prohibited by law or by eBay rules. You will agree to follow eBay rules. And if you place a bid, you are agreeing to a legal contract to pay if you should be the winner. I can also summarize the privacy policy. Generally, your financial information will be kept private. eBay has certain restrictions on sharing your information with other companies. And eBay will share your information with law enforcement if it is requested. Almost anything you buy or sell on eBay will be shown in your buyer or seller history. This is true for all members and this transparency is important in maintaining an honest marketplace. Then you must agree to receive communications from eBay which are necessary to set up your account and you must agree that you are at least 18 years old. I'll click continue and my account will be set up. After I click continue an email will be sent to the email address I specified. This email contains a special activation code or a link you will need to either use this activation code to activate your account or you will need to click on the link. It's generally a bad idea to click on any link in any email, but this is one exception because you are expecting this particular email to come and it should arrive within a few minutes of clicking the continue button. Once you do receive this email, you can click the link and this will activate your account. Once your account is activated, you can use the buy it now option or you can place bids on options. This means that you can purchase items on eBay without doing anything further. If you would like to sell on eBay, once you log into your account, you can click the option to upgrade to a seller's account. A seller's account only requires some additional information to prove you are who you say you are, and eBay will also need a method to charge for their auction listing fees. Fees are only charged when items are sold. Buyers do not have to pay any eBay fees.